Hello and welcome to another installment of the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 tutorials for Lavender Camps that Brad and I have put together. Um, this uh, installment will uh, talk about various uses of the red tab down here, basically variables and uh, numerical operations and uh, we'll touch briefly on data types as well and what the um, EV3 software can handle in terms of data types. So without much further ado, I figured the best way to deal with this is to build a simple sample program um, that will allow us to um, basically have an, uh, an EV3 brick and two touch sensors and they, if uh, it, it'll make different pitches depend, we'll use the sound capacity of the brick to make different pitches depending on whether whether or not certain uh, touch sensors that we've hooked up to the uh, to the brick are pressed. So in order to do that, we're going to need to use variables. We're going to need to use uh, some Boolean logic, and we're going to need to use. Um, some touch sensors. So we, at, at this point I, I assume that you've already gone through and are familiar with how to use uh, the uh, sensor tab here, the yellow tab. So we're just going to start by dragging two touch sensors up here. We're going to pick them as ports one and two. Uh, we are going to measure their state. Uh, the great thing about measuring state is that uh, it is a one or zero. That you, can you can't have a range with a touch sensor. So this is really great because it allows us to use uh, Boolean logic, which I'll get into later. Anyhow, so we have our one, we have our two, and now we need to go down to the red tab, go over here on the far right, and drag up two of these variable blocks. They're little suitcases, which I think is kind of apt because that's basically what a variable is. A variable, uh, the best way to imagine it is the way my... Uh, computer science professor taught it to me was the, uh, imagine it's a little suitcase with a label on it. That label is the name of the variable and what's inside is the what the variable points to and basically if you go up to the suitcase and look at the label and look inside that's what you're gonna find. You can change what goes inside the suitcase but you can't swap labels on variables. You can have multiple labels that it's complicated but that's well beyond the scope of what we're trying to do here. Um, anyway, we're just going to have to give these variable names. I'm going to add some variables. However, we want to make sure we're on the right data type. So you have two options with variables. You can either read from the variable, you can look what's inside, or you can write to the variable. You can put something inside. We want to do logic instead of numbers. We could do numbers, but we're going to do logic here because it's going to make our lives easier down the road. It's going to give us more options for um, what happens when you push the buttons. But uh, we go with logic. And now we're going to hook up, click on the thing, and drag the wire over to this one. And then we'll click here, we'll drag it over here. We're going to call this variable, add variable, we're going to call it, say, touch1. Okay. And we're going to add another variable, call this one touch2. Okay. Uh, so now we have that. This is writing both of these values to the variable. So it's going to take, this program is going to start, it's going to take, it's going to start over here, it's going to take a look at what the current state of the touch sensor is and it's going to write it to a variable called touch1. It's then going to look at um, what's in this, in, in, in sensor2, and we're going to write it to a variable called touch2. Alright, so now we've got those values stored away. Now what are we going to do with them? We're going to go down, we're going to get another two variable blocks, we're going to drag them up here. Um, we're going to... No, it's numeric, we got to go back down and this time we want to read. We want to read out of it. We want to see what's inside the variable. So we are going to go to logic. We are going to go to read logic again. Touch one. This one we want as touch two. Um, and now you'll see we can move these somewhere. But the question is, where are we going to move them to? So we're going to go back down to the yellow tab. or Not the yellow, I'm sorry, the red tab down here, the data operations. Not going to do array. We're going to do logic operations because that's what we're dealing with. We have the these are both um, logic or Boolean data types. Um, so we are going to use the logic um, uh, operators in order to operate on these uh, these variables. So that means that we can then hook these up. We're just going to call number one A and number one B. Um, for the operators that they give you, it doesn't really matter which order you put them in. Um, if they gave you a couple of the, the weird operators, like NAND or something like that, it would it would matter, but it, it doesn't matter. So 
we're going to go with XOR, I think. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar, I'm assuming you're familiar with what each of these are, but AND is basically, it'll return true if both uh, inputs are true and false otherwise, or returns true if <clears throat> one is true or the other is true, or both are true, but it returns false if they're both false. XOR is exclusive OR. It returns true if only one of the two is true, not both, not neither, and then not simply turns a true to a false or a false to a true. Anyhow, we're going to go with XOR. So the way this is going to end up working is, um, so we now have an XOR gate here. We have an input A and input B. So it's going to operate on these. It's going to check to see if they're the same, the same value is going in, whether it's both pushed or both let off. Um, and it's going to export that out with this equals sign. So that means that now we have, we're going to go over, we're going to go to our um, switch statement because we want this to do something different if it's true and something different if it's false. And we're going to go to, uh, not touch sense, we're going to go down to logic. We're going to wire the equal sign into this port like so. And then we are going to, you got the check up here, this means true, the X down here means false. Um, <clears throat> now you're going to go to the green tab over here. You're going to go to click on sound, you're going to drag a sound block out to each of them. Yeah, for each block, we're going to say, let's say we want to play, hmm, let's pick a note. Let's say we want to play a, a low C, if it's true, if both of them are the same state. Um, so we got our one, one there's going to be one second full volume, it's just going to play once, and down here we're going to do the same, we're going to play note, let's make it, let's make it, oh I don't know, let's make it a high C, a really high C, if, if, um, if, if they're not the same, uh, same, same setups like so. So now when you click the play button, you go back to the beginning, you click the, it, it, the, the thing begins, I don't know why I want to call this the play button, it's going to check the states of the, um, the two touch sensors, it's going to throw them into two variables, touch one and touch two, these are boolean or logic type variables, it's then going to take a look at what's in those variables, it's going to pull them out, it's going to perform an operation on the variables, and then it's going to take the result of that operation, and depending on the result of that operation, it's going to play a tone. So, okay, so this is only going to happen once. We can then go through if we wanted to, and we could add a loop. But, um, yeah, you, you, you generally see where this is going. So now we highlight all this. Drag it. Oh, it didn't highlight the last one. You, you don't need to go with what's inside. You just drag it down here, in there. In we go. Scroll over. And this will loop, I believe, forever is the default. Yes, this will loop forever. So this program here, what you see before you, is going to just, as soon as you run it, it's going to check, see what the state is. It's going to play its tone. It's then going to go back and check, see what the state is again, play its tone. It's, gonna, and it's just going to keep doing that over and over and over again. Um, so if you have a, an EV3 kit with you uh, and want to try this out, feel free. Um, you can play around with some of these, some of these variables. Uh, this is this has been an introduction to uh, Boolean logic, data types, and uh, variables in general. So um, until next time, then.